Okay, 60s, Psychedelic Garage Rock. Uh, this lesson I'm going to cover Hey Joe as played by the leaves. I'm playing it in A major, which is uh, the same on the studio recording. And I have standard tuning on my guitar. I'll play an A major chord here. Okay, the intro starts out with an A major chord, and it's uh, this sounds very typical of uh, 60s rhythm. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm playing an A major chord. I've got my uh, middle finger here, E, A, and C sharp, and uh, what I'm doing is uh, just lifting my uh, baby finger off the C sharp. And then back on the C sharp and up to D. So it sounds like this single note. chords during the verse, F major, C major, G major, D major, and then it goes back to A major. Okay, you can think of that as going back to home, this part right here. So that, again, that's F major, C major, G major, D major, and back home. Okay, this chord pattern is played throughout the verse. intro, the lead guitar part. Okay, my finger, my index finger is on the 17th fret there. It's an A note on the first string. And then I've got G note with my uh, pinky finger. So you stretch that, you stretch your pinky up. Move down a whole step, and then move down to E, and then an A right here, tenth fret, second string. Okay, there's a break after that, and it sounds like this. So that's an F, A, A sharp, B, C, and an E. So that's chromatically from E up to G. Okay, you notice the pattern there. Uh, the one in F is identical to the one in G. So again. Okay, then we go on to uh, D major. And the lead guitar part. 10th fret, 2nd string. That's where my index finger is. So 
So that's A, C, and a D. I'm not doing any hammer-ons or pull-offs, I'm just picking the whole thing. Okay, after that, it does this uh, bass riff. I'll play it on the guitar, but it's an octave lower. A, C sharp, E, F sharp, and an A. Okay, here, my index finger is on the 7th fret, and I'm stretching that E note. Stretching that E note up, and then you play a B. Stretch up, let it back down, pull off. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm just playing the E major chord, and when I'm picking that, I'm playing an arpeggio. Third, first, and fifth. This is the E chord right here. Okay, that's all for this lesson. Thanks for watching. Bye.